high salary scale, low tax rate, year-round warm climate, and the opportunity to pick up some Cantonese doesn't sound half bad, right? These are the reasons that I chose to live and teach in Hong Kong. And in this video, I'm going to share some insight about international school teaching salaries. To begin, let me start with my past position, which was at an international school in San Francisco. And although my annual teaching salary on paper was more than the one I signed on my contract here in Hong Kong, I actually take home $900 more every single month here in Hong Kong just because of the low tax structure. So the lesson here is that if you are looking for international schools teaching positions and you want to save more money, then make sure that you look at the local tax rate. But that's not all to check out, not just the salary and the local tax rate. You actually want to also have a look at the whole package. So whether or not the school provides housing or housing allowance, flight stipend, health insurance, retirement fund, and if you're bringing your own kids along, double check if they will give you free tuition or reduced tuition at least because that will also be a really big expense. Now as far as the salaries go, let me use Hong Kong as an example because this is where I'm at right now. So an international school teacher can expect to earn here in Hong Kong anywhere between 44,000 US dollars a year on the low end to on the high end 102, 105,000 US dollars a year. Now you might be thinking like, whoa, 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 that's a huge gap. And you're right, it's gigantic. So how do we pair this and how do we navigate this if, if you're a teacher who's interested in coming abroad? Well, there are three main factors that you will need to show and then also look for. So the first one is your own experience uh, first one is your own teaching education. So whether you have a bachelor's, a master's, or a PhD. And then the second is the amount of years that you have as a teacher. So um, those are two important factors. But the most important third factor, um, the most important factor in the third factor is actually uh, getting paired up with the best, highest paying international school from the get-go or from the beginning. Because if you uh, get paid uh, if you get matched with one of these international schools from the start, you will just start making more money faster. And then over the lifetime or the span that you're in one post, you'll just make tens of thousands of dollars more. So then the question is, well, where are these higher paying international schools? And let me give you a couple of resources. So first, there are a few international school recruitment agencies like Search Associates. At their website, there's some really great information. The problem is that it's not filterable. So as a member of Search Associates myself, I can't go to the website and say, all right, I want to practice my Mandarin. I want to go to a place that speaks Cantonese. I want to go to a place with a low tax structure and a place that has year-round warm weather. They just don't have that filterable database. Um, but they do have information, but you just have to click at every single teacher, uh, every single international school page, and then go back, and then go back, and then go back, and go to every single page individually. There's also International School Review. Again, it's a really good resource, and there's plenty of information. It just feels like it was built in like 1996 and then never touched again. It's not super user friendly, and that's kind of the problem with it. It's like not really fun to play with. Um, but again, there's really good information, and people have been adding information there for a while. Um, there's also teachers blogs, which I totally love reading about other international school teachers, personal experiences. The only problem with that is that they really only speak about their one particular school that they're talking about. Um, and so we can't get like a whole wide spectrum of all schools in Hong Kong or all schools in Tokyo, for example. Um, but again, I think it's a, a really cool resource to read those too. Um, lastly, um, you should be part of some Facebook groups that house international school teachers. Um, the problem with that is that Facebook wasn't made for groups and it really wasn't made for international school teachers at all. So I think that as an international school teacher, I would personally love a really cool, fun to use website that is like one that we ourselves feel like we can live in, where we can not only connect with schools better and schools can connect with us better, but that we as international school teachers can connect with each other better um, based off the factors and values that are important to our own lifestyles. Like I said, I like to live in certain places um, for certain reasons and I would like to be able to like filter and search through a database and just pick out a small list of schools that I personally could apply to. Um, that sounds really awesome and so if you feel the same way, click the link in the description below. I made an open source, totally editable um, Google Sheet by anyone and if you're comfortable, add your email address in for any international school teacher who's interested in maximizing your income in the city that you want to live in. I will add a small list of uh, yeah, teachers who like this idea and then if you want to keep anonymous, just don't add your email address in. But if you've ever taught abroad, please add your information in. As I 
I'm sure that you're interested in how much I made in San Francisco and in Hong Kong. If you're a teacher, well, that I'm also interested in how much you made wherever you've been. So add your information. And if you like this video, give it a thumbs up and I'll see you in the next one. All right, peace.